Yeah, listen, gentlemen, you see, first of all, see this video. If you have $100,000, now your husband has $30,000. We're talking about submission. How much does the family have? The family has $30,000. My husband is the head of the family, right? Yes. So he has $30,000. So that's the family money. So your money is your money. Your husband's money is your people's money. Of course. And if you have $100,000, your husband has $20,000. How much does the family have? Uh, <laughs> Why are you doing your mouth like this? <laughs> so, my so do you believe in submission? Everything you have should be your husband. Yes, everything oh. I have is his. Everything he has is mine. You see, that was a video of a lady in an online interview with two other ladies. And she asked one of the ladies, say, if you have $30,000 and your husband has $30,000, how much does the family has? And the lady quickly answered and said, the family has $30,000 because the husband is supposed to take care of the responsibility, is the head of the family and stuff like that. Good. Then while the other lady came on board and she was asked, if you have $100,000 and your husband has one hundred and two, uh, and your husband has twenty thousand dollars. How much does the family have? And she answered that the family has one hundred and twenty dollars. And she stated it clear that whatsoever she has belongs to the husband, and whatsoever the husband has belongs to her. Now, as a lady, before you go into marriage with anybody, you know you should be able to go into marriage with somebody you can trust with everything you have. And as a man, before you go into marriage with anybody, you should be able to go into marriage with somebody you can trust with everything you have as well. The certain mindset, or there are certain mindsets that people carry into marriage, and it causes a lot of problem to them in that marriage. And again, if you are a man and you meet a woman who cannot entrust her finances to you, to some extent, I don't think it should be a problem, but in another way, it is also a problem. And a woman, if you are, if you, if you know that you cannot support a man financially, don't match too much of pressure on him financially. Yes. In marriage, if you know you are a woman that is working, you are earning, or whatever you are earning, you cannot use it to support the man. That the man must be the one doing all the expenses and stuff like that. Please, don't place too much financial demand on that man, because you know that what he is receiving. Is supposed to be for his own self but you are in the picture the family is in the picture the children are in the picture so you see what he has which is supposed to serve him alone is not serving everyone in the family including extended family you as a woman please spend your money on yourself do your stuff for yourself and allow the man to food family need so that there will be a balance you know when I saw this thing and a lot of ladies would be taking side with the other lady that said uh, the, f the man is the head of the family and he must take care of the responsibility and stuff like that. But the truth is this. Uh, marriage is all about companionship. In marriage, marriage is a teamwork. If you cannot see your partner as your team, then you, I don't think you are ready for marriage or I don't think you are ready for a sustainable marriage. Not until you see your partner as a team, not until you see your husband, not until you see your wife as your team, then you are not ready to succeed in marriage at all. Your wife and your husband should be the closest person to you as an individual. The moment you marry, you are disconnected from your mother, you are disconnected from your father, your wife is not the center of your life. And you must treat her as such. Also, you are disconnected from your father and mother, your husband is not the center of your life. You both must see yourself as team. You know what? Teamwork always wins.